Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today, and today I'm showing you different German gas canisters used throughout history. Uh, these are only three that I have in my collection. Of course, there are many different types. You know, for example, World War II, they had quite a bit of different sizes and, and so on, but these are the three that I currently possess. As you can see from left to right, so left to right, we have the, the earliest one to the latest one. This one on the very left is a World War I German canister. The one in the middle is a World War II German canister. And the one on the right is a post-war, I believe, West German canister. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in size-wise. This one is a, this is the World War I German gas mask canister. Uh, of course, World War One developed around 1915, I believe. But this pattern, if I can open it, this pattern is a 1918 pattern, so it's very late war type. This one was possibly made even post-war. The inside's pretty cruddy. On the top here, you have this X, X shape, so I guess the the mask doesn't jump too much around. And there you have a marking, which is quite hard to read. The gas mask back in... And here's the bottom. Kind of sort of rusting out. The gas masks back in World War One were, at least for the Germans, a lot smaller. And they're, I believe they are made of like a, a cloth. Like a rubberized cloth. They weren't actually made of rubber. I could be wrong, so please correct me if I, I'm wrong. But so they're easier to store in here. Really, you just had the filter that went about to the line here. And the rest was the mask that, that could easily be squished. On the side here, you have three loops. You have three loops, looks almost kind of like a face. This is These two here, you'd attach a strap that would attach here, then connect over here, that you would swing or sling over your, your shoulder. And this one down here, would have a, a separate strap with a hook that you would attach your belt that you would use to attach your belt to. These were these are very simple as you can tell, and the color is a bit of a brownish red, but that could mostly be because of the rust. I do believe when they were first painted, they were a bit of a similar to this these two colors. I believe so. After World War One, and after you know Germany had that period when, before they officially went to war, uh, they improved their gas mask canisters. This one is a, I forgot the date on the top of my head. This is a 1942 dated one, as you can see there. But before this one was made, they had very similar ones, but they were actually shorter. In fact, they looked very similar to the post-war one here. They were a bit shorter. Uh, some of them had this this uh, latch here. And those were used mostly, you mostly see them in the invasion of Poland and France. After that, this was the most basic design. So this is, all, like I just said, the most basic design. The opening, instead of just pulling or pushing the top off, you have this sort of uh, pull tab here. This has a spring attached to it, and you just pull it down. Normally, there'd be a piece of fat, uh, canvas down here, so it'd be easier to pull it. I do not have that. And once you open it, as you can see, not as cruddy, but it is taller. That's because the gas masks, at least the earlier ones, were made of uh, rubber. And you couldn't quite squish it down as easily as the World War I kinds. So that's why they had to make them a bit taller. Right here, on the lid, you have this little compartment which would contain spare lenses for the mask. Of course, these have seen better days and they're a bit cracked, I believe. Let me take them out. There's a bit of a cover there. 
yeah. So that's what that little compartment compartment would be for. As you can see this pattern, they have these uh, grooves in the canister. I do not know quite the reason for that. The best guess I can come up with is to kind of reduce the shine, you know, because it's an uneven pattern or surface. That's what I believe. And then when you move over here to the side, it's a bit hard to see with the straps, but you have these three loops again, the one at the bottom. Same design, you have the one strap that attaches on one side, then it goes all the way over your shoulder and attaches back to this side. And then again, you have this hook here that you would attach to your belt so that your gas mask canister won't be flopping all around. Of course, this is falling down. I don't want it to get everywhere. So really, the major improvements, or at least changes, was a different opening system, a different size, you know, it's a lot longer or a lot higher. And inside, there's a separate little compartment for replacement lenses. Now, once World War II ended and, you know, Germany lost and all that, or the Axis lost and all that stuff, Germany separated into two different countries basically you got east germany and west germany and uh east germany changed a lot of their stuff mostly because because they became communist and west germany kept a lot of their uh, their items just a bit of uh, improvements they didn't completely redesign everything so as i said i believe this is a west german one but please correct me if i'm wrong on the top here you have the manufacturer really big and like the other ones where it's very small or almost not even noticeable you have the I, I could try to pronounce it but I know I'm going to get it wrong but the, the company right there and then down here I believe this would be the model and that might be the date 1976 I'm not quite sure but that might be the date so this is dated 1976 and uh, I do not read German so I apologize but I believe that would just say something about you know, that's a gas mask canister and so on. The opening, excuse me, is a, you know, latch system. It's not a pull tab, or, excuse me, it's not a pull tab or anything. So once you get that open, pop it open and same thing inside. They just shorten it a bit because they didn't need all that extra space. And here again, you have a little compartment for your extra lenses, except this is a bit better. You would slide it in here, and then just close it and be well protected. And then you go on the side again, and you have that same basic three, uh, I forgot the word, but you know, loops for Oh my god, what am I saying? Straps, there we go. These these have these separate hooks here. So you can see that. There you have the company. And these basically is what your straps would attach to. So you can see here, these stra this canister had leather straps, which of course got extremely dry and cracked. I do have the strap with me, but it's just a, a piece of uh, leather, dry and can't really be used again. But again, you'd attach your strap here and there, go over your shoulder, and at the bottom here you have a separate strap with a hook, and it would attach to your belt so that doesn't flop all over the place. Sorry. So hopefully that helps you guys identify different German gas canisters. Uh, they're pretty cool, especially as you can see the size differences between these two. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like. If you want to comment on anything, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. This is all about learning. Uh, please, you know, correct me. 
Uh, if you guys are watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, you guys should definitely hit that subscribe button and make sure to spread the, the word of my channel, you know, share the video and all that. But besides that, you guys have a great day.